Hi and welcome to week 30 of World History 2. So in this week, we're going to begin by talking about the uh, struggle between nationalists and communists in China, as well as describing the impact of the Japanese invasion of China. In addition to talking a little bit about literature and art in Western society post World War One. Moreover, we'll finalize the week by identifying the contributions of modern scientists such as Mary Curie and Albert Einstein. So we begin by looking at the struggle between nationalists and communists in China, which was a defining feature of the country's modern history. It began in the early 20th century with the collapse of the Qing dynasty and the emergence of various political factions vying for control. The Chinese Nationalist Party and the Chinese Communist Party, led by famously by Mao Zedong, emerged as the two primary contenders. The nationalists aimed to establish a modern centralized government, while communists sought to implement a Marxist revolution to create a classless society. The power struggle between these two factions culminated in a civil war, which temporarily ended with a tenuous alliance against Japanese invaders during World War II. However, the conflict resumed after the war, ultimately resulting in the communist victory in 1949 and the establishment of the People's Republic of China. Now, the Japanese invasion of China, which began in 1937 with the Marco Polo Bridge incident, had a profound impact on both China and the wider world. The invasion led to widespread devastation, with Japanese forces committing numerous atrocities, such as the Nanjing Massacre. The conflict also exasperated tensions between nationalists and communists, as both factions sought to resist the Japanese occupation while also pursuing their own agendas. The invasion ultimately weakened China's ability to resist communist forces, while also highlighting the ina inadequacy of international efforts to contain Japanese aggression. The impact of the Japanese invasion continues to shape Sino-Japanese relations and remains a contentious issue in East Asian politics. Moving on, so we know that World War II brought about significant changes in Western society and culture. The war shattered long-standing beliefs in the stability and progress of Western civilization, leading to widespread disillusionment and a sense of cultural crisis. The loss of a generation of young men in the trenches led to a questioning of traditional values and norms, while the trauma of war gave rise to new artistic movements such as Dadaism and Surrealism. Socially, the war accelerated changes in gender roles and labor relations. As women entered the workforce in large numbers and workers demanded greater rights and protections. Politically, the war contributed to the collapse of the empires such as the Austro-Hungarian and Ottoman empires, paving the way for the rise of new nation states and ideologies such as fascism and communism. Moving on and continuing with our theme of how Western society changed and how culture as a whole evolved, modern scientists such as Marie Curie and Albert Einstein made grand break groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of the natural world and revolutionized scientific thinking in the early 20th century. Marie Curie, a pioneering physicist and chemist, is best known for her research on radioactivity, for which she won the Nobel Prize in both physics and chemistry. Her discoveries laid the groundwork for advancements in fields such as medicine and nuclear energy. Albert Einstein, one of the most influential physicists of all time, developed a theory of relativity, which fundamentally altered our understanding of space, time, and gravity. His work also laid the foundation of modern quantum mechanics and led to the development of technologies such as nuclear power and GPS. Both Curie and Einstein's contributions continue to inspire and inform scientific research to this day. So I hope that you found this helpful so far. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.